What we've done with the new Explorer is, first of all, we need to make sure it met the Ford SUV durability requirements. Our durability requirements put a lot of loads into the chassis system. So our engineers uh, spend a lot of time, frankly, starting from the wheels on up uh, with the chassis in order to redesign the chassis systems and the control arms into the subframe to make sure that we're able to handle the loads that are going into an SUV. So that ends up with a lot of areas of the vehicle that have been uh, reinforced and have been designed in order to handle heavy loads like what you see out here today when you're driving through sand and you're hitting big hummocks and, and you're going through uh, ravines and that. You know, everything from uh, wider wheelbase um, to the stronger chassis parts that we already talked about to tuning for an SUV to meet both on-road comfort and off-road uh, capability and then uh, really the driveline system and that's that's one of the unique aspects of the Explorer that we really spend a lot of time on because we wanted to make sure that we maintain the Explorer heritage of off-road capability while at the same time providing better refinement and easier to use uh, functionality for our customer. And with that, we developed the train management system. And really the train management system is a uh, driver selectable system where they can identify what kind of environment they're in. Like today we were in sand environment and as you saw when we're in normal mode, you can drive through sand okay, but you really sometimes wonder whether you're set up right with a vehicle, but once you turn it into sand mode, then the vehicle goes through and it modifies some of our systems on the vehicle, such as the yaw stability control system. It modifies the uh, four-wheel drive system in order to have more preload, so you have more traction immediately. Also modifies the driver demand table with the accelerator pedal and the upshift schedule and uh, the downshift schedule, so you're always at the peak of your torque curve. Cause when you're in sand, you really got to have a lot of torque and a lot of power. A lot of power to dig through that, and you can achieve that via just a nice, easy turn of the knob, and you can get ready to go, and you don't have to stop, you don't have to uh, worry whether you're in neutral or park or anything like that. It's turn of the knob go. So we think that's really uh, delivered uh, explore capability, but refinement and easy to use, uh, understandable technology for the customer.